Hi guys and welcome to Tech Forever News. Coming up on today's show, I'll be talking to you about the structure sensors. I'll be introducing the new steam controller and talking about Apple and the Samsung. Plus, Google upgrades its algorithm after three years. And make sure you stay watching for a special review of the Samsung Gear Watch. So stay tuned. Last week, Google unveiled a new redesigned homepage. And this week, they've gone that one step further. The search engine has come up with an upgrade to the way it interprets a user's search requests. The new algorithm, codenamed Hummingbird, is its first major upgrade for three years, which means the users get more efficient search results. A presentation on the search engine was short on specifics, but said Hummingbird is especially useful for longer and more complex queries. Google stressed that a new algorithm is important as users expect much more natural and conversational interactions with a search engine. Hummingbird is focused on more ranking information based on a more intelligent understanding of search requests, unlike its predecessor which was targeted at better indexing of websites. All in all, this is what we at Tech Forever like to call smart searching. It's a huge improvement to the world's most used website. So it turns out Apple may have to rely on their arch enemy Samsung for a large part of their AA chips for next year. Samsung has made Apple's 20 nanometer chips for the past few generations, but recently Apple have made a deal with TSMC to take over. Though Samsung is far from out of the picture according to Korea Economic Daily. Samsung will manufacture 30 to 40% of the chips. Apple wanted TSMC to do it on its own, but creating enough quantity is a difficult process. Apple has been looking to cut ties with Samsung for some time, and analysts say this is due to the legal bad blood between the two companies. This structure sensor is an easy clip-on accessory for the iPad, which is designed to let you 3D scan objects. Occitable is a company looking to bring this fleet device to the market by raising funds on Kickstarter, where it exceeded funding goal by within hours. This is the first 3D sensor to ever be made for mobile devices. The sensor attaches to your device using an included bracket which overlays prime sensors, 3D sensors to let you see in the dark or invisibly signal other devices. Despite the structure sensor being designed for iPads, with the new lighting connector, Android users aren't left out. Drivers for Windows, Android, Macs are provided and its connecting is simple by using the right USB cable. It's such a great device to have especially for people like engineers, designers, retailers or gamers. It's to think that this device will start around £300 and the company says it's near ready to be manufactured with shipping expected in February 2014. Game developer Valve have brought out a futuristic touch-enabled gamepad. The Steam controller includes a small touchscreen between two touchpads, which place joysticks, and all the usual buttons. But don't worry, Valve say the controller should be compatible with any computer system running Steam, but they are unsure if it will work with other systems. The tiny high-res screen lets players trigger a lot of different actions. For example, you can swipe through pages of actions to find the right one. The screen is also on your bigger display so that you can keep an eye on the action. It's even compatible with mouse and keyboard games such as 4X and RTS games. The screen is clickable to prevent unwanted taps, but there are some familiar touch controls as well. As mentioned before, users will find two round trackpads instead of joysticks. Once again, these trackpads are clickable. This is crucial as a lot of games rely on traditional buttons to be on the right side of the controller. Finally, the Steam controller can vibrate. Valve hadn't shared anything about release dates or prices, but you can probably expect to see a Steam controller bundled with a Steam box. Now, just imagine you could control your TV or your computer using your hands instead of using a mouse or a remote. Well, a new software has been developed which allows you to do just that. Point Grab wants you to be able to control your computer, TV and other devices with simple hand gestures. The company's website says its software enables any 2D camera already embedded in smartphones and tablets to read hand gestures of up to 5 metres away. 
It can also differentiate between movements meant for it and the unintentional flick of the wrist. Cursors move in one direction of your hand and different gestures correspond to different commands. So if you make a fist for example and the cursor grabs onto the on-screen item, make two in a row and it double clicks. Other hand signals control everything from zoom to volume control. The company also says its software supports a virtual keyboard that lets the users tap invisible letters in mid-air, which makes it possible to browse the internet from a distance. So as long as your fingers match up to where the keys would be on a real keyboard, typing in mid-air is the same as on a desk, although it may look a little sillier. After all the rumours, Samsung finally released their Galaxy Gear smartwatch at the start of September. It gives the basic functions that most smartphones give in a small package. It's bigger than most watches and a bit too chunky for our liking. Now let's talk about functionality. It's not a replacement for your mobile phone, but it's more of a companion that connects to your phone via Bluetooth extending its functionality and ideally making it less necessary to reach into your pocket for your phone. For starters, Samsung has included some cool features such as the Memeographer, which takes photos and videos directly from your wrist. Also, they have the Pedometer, which tracks your physical activities. It notifies users of incoming messages such as calls, texts, emails and alerts and delivers a preview of those messages and creates the opportunity for users to accept or discreetly ignore those messages. When an incoming message requires more than just a quick glance, users can simply pick up their Samsung Galaxy device and a clever smart relay feature will instantly reveal the full content on the screen of that second device, which is something that we very much like at Tech Forever. Now onto the performance, the Gear has a 512 MB of RAM and an 800 MHz processor which just doesn't cut it for us. It's not terribly slow, but it's not as fast as we would expect it to be. It's priced at around £185. more information, you can catch us on our website, www.techforever.co.uk and our Facebook and Twitter, at Tech Forever News. Hope you enjoyed the show. See you next week. Bye. Bye.